Adrian from GearYouGirl.com, and I'm wondering if you had a chance to check out the new RKC blog post from Master RKC Dan John. It came out today, and it outlines 20 days of workouts plus an extra little kind of bonus combination that's really, really cool. Anyway, he talks about how important the HKC is, and more importantly, the three exercises from it, the swing, the goblet squat, and the Turkish get-up, are pretty much all most people need to really excel and do well either in life and in sports. Now some folks agree with that, some folks disagree, and that's alright, but the HKC is still a fantastic place for pretty much anybody to start, especially if you're a trainer and you want to add kettlebells to your toolkit, absolutely go to the HKC, you're going to learn a ton in that day. Now, these three exercises are really only effective if you are doing them correctly. I know that goes without saying, but you'd be surprised at, uh, well maybe you wouldn't, you're on YouTube right now, so that means you've seen all kinds of stuff you probably wish you could unsee. I know I really wish I could. Anyway, I want to show you, speaking of unseeing, um, one of my biggest pet peeves with the Turkish get up. Okay, and this came up in conversation about two weeks ago. Um, one of my out-of-town clients came in for some marathon sessions. He's very brave. Um, we got a lot done. It was awesome. But he's like, hey, is it okay for the straight leg to come up when you're coming up in the beginning of the Turkish get-up? And I said, I don't think so. And I'll tell you why. To me, that's an indicator that something's not quite right, that you're not doing that first roll correct. So, you know, in the article from Dan John, he says, I wish it was called the Turkish roll up, not the Turkish get up. And now I'm going to show you exactly why. So we're going to see the quote wrong way with the leg flying up, and then we're going to see the right way. And I'm going to give you a couple of cues that might help with that if you're having this problem. Sometimes you'll even see people who know better doing this, and they'll give you the excuse because they're going for a match, uh, uh, you know, a, a max lift or just, you know, whatever. Honestly, I try not to do this ever because one, I don't think it looks cool, and two, I'm sorry, but if you're calling that a one rep max and your leg's flying up, it may have counted in your book, but it doesn't count in mine. Not that anybody cares, but just letting you know. If you're training with me, the leg is not flying up. Here's how to fight that if it's happening. So, what am I talking about? Let's say I've got the kettlebell in this hand. I'm coming over, I'm pressing it up. I'm putting this hand down. But then when I come up, this is happening. I'm really exaggerating there because I want there to be no mistake. So we don't want to do that. We want to do this. Not this. Do you see what's happening in my torso? I kind of wore this top so you could see what's going on. I'll do it from the other side as well. It should be super obvious here. Watch this leg. I'm going to do it right. And then I'm going to do it wrong. She knows what happens to my voice. That's right. I'm doing sit-ups. I don't want to do sit-ups. I'm doing a Turkish get-up. So I want to roll. Here's what's going to happen. I'm pushing up this heel. I've got it in close enough that I can get a lot of power. I've got this straight leg out here. I want to think of driving that heel along the ground. Okay, so invisible kettlebell comes up, driving off of this heel. And I'm going to just roll from, pardon me, from this butt cheek to that butt cheek. I'm going side to side. It's kind of like a side to side diagonal movement. It's not a straight up. So when I do that, I'm coming this way. One of the things that absolutely fixed that client, boom, right like that, was giving him a target to roll towards. So I kind of stood at that diagonal angle and he didn't really look at where I was, but he sort of knew where I was from shadow, or you know how we detect each other as human beings. So, anyway, that gave him something and that foot stayed down. No more wild straight leg flaying around and looking the fool. So, I hope that helped. 
and let me know if you have any other questions about the Turkish get up or maybe you feel like your Turkish get up just isn't looking as cool as it possibly could. If it doesn't look cool, chances are there's some kind of little something in there that we can fix that ultimately will make you really, really strong. While it might be nice to brag that you can get a heavy bell up in the get up, even if your leg's flaying around, that's probably where you're going to stay. You're never going to surpass that without fixing that little issue. Once you fix that issue, who knows? You might start to find gravity. 